Greetings YouTube, this is BJ Black and welcome to Chapter 5 of Lord of the Night. Oh, Laurette's group. This is recounting how they encountered three sisters from the Alliance at the village of noble women. Thanks to Magatsu, they were able to frighten them off, so to speak. It says we fought them off. And then we learned the truth, a shocking truth, from the White Rabbit. The threat of the Lord of Dreams. Jeez, what a strange story. To think that we're in a different world. And we came from a different world than you did. Hard to imagine. Well, it's difficult to believe, but we gotta accept it. If we want to return to our world, then we have to defeat the Lord of Dreams. Now, what next? We, want, we would want to avoid wandering around this unknown world aimlessly. Alright, look at this map. Fairly nearby there's the village of Succubi. Succubus village. However you want to translate that. She got this map of the vicinity from the village of Noble Women. And right to the southeast there is the village that Rijeo spoke of. If we go there, maybe he'll help us out with things? I am, after all, sort of a succubus. Oh, counting on your brethren, hmm? Yes, we might be able to look forward and anticipate some assistance. Lorat also assents to Rijeo's plan. And we're still not used to this world. Any help that we can get, we would want to get. Yeah, first of all, I can't... Lorat is saying that he can't even use his runes. According to the White Rabbit, the system of magic is different, but in each world, the way to use thing, the way to use techniques is changes. Hmm? It's true that since I came here, my power has increased. I feel. This is extremely curious. But to Lorette, it's uh, nothing. There is no profit to the changes. The worst thing he could come to, really. We want to get it so that Lorette can use his runes. He in the succubus village. Perhaps someone knowledgeable in the magic of this world would, would exist. Hey! Hey! That's right, in the prologue, Luca's group was splitting up and which went to her hometown, Succubus Village. Well, system of magic, you say, but... Even in our world, the system of magic was extremely complex and specific, particular. And for that reason, amongst the branches of philosophy, magic itself constituted an entire branch. According to the world that you're in, it seems that 
The system of magic changes. If we can figure out how we can be able to use our magic in this world, then... Alright then, let's go to Succubus Village. Mm-hmm. Looking at the map, we should get there before the sun sets. Southeast. And... It'd be good if we can get some assistance. That's it, everybody is players as soon as I get the opportunity. Mm, that's right, I have... I do have an ability from Magatsu which I would like to equip. Berserker. This is Succubus Village. Although it's rare for me to even go to other countries here, I am in another world. Ah, there are so many things I'm not used to seeing. Welcome to Succubus Village. Say, are you one of us? Um, I'm... By appearance, you resemble us. But something's different, isn't there? You have a very strange feeling to you. Yeah, nightmares are succubi, kind of, but not exactly. <clears throat> so, the succubi of this village are different from the nightmares that we know. At the very least, they are in reality and not residents of the dream. So the dream reality and the regular reality are different things in Laurat's setting, I suppose. But it's clear that Rijeo and the Succubi around here are different existences. There are a lot of characteristics with which they share but, as expected, they were fundamentally different. So, what's your purpose here in this village? Sightseeing? Training? Or something else? Hmm, our circumstances are complex, but we'd like help. In this village, are there any... Could we meet any prominent personages? Mm, then go to the village chief's house. It's deeper in the village, the biggest mansion. This village doesn't turn away anyone who comes and doesn't chase anyone who leaves. If you've got your circumstances, even if you've got your circumstances, we'd be glad to receive you. Well, that's quite a broad-minded village. This village chief, or whatever, should be a pretty great person. It looks like we're not going to get help as brethren, exactly, but... They're friendly enough. So, let's go ahead and meet the village chief right away. The village chief's mansion should be in deeper in the village and big. Uh huh. I'm cheating. Wait. Hey, that's Saki. She has a very distinctive appearance, but I hate her, so I'm not talking to her. Well, welcome to Succubus Village. What can I do for you? Well, you see, we're travelers, but avoiding the topic of other worlds, Rijeo explains our circumstances. 
We came from a distant place and we're having troubles. It's become so we can't use our runes, so we're troubled about that. I see. You are in quite a situation. I'd like to help you as much as I can. Considering runes, though, I'm not very... I don't know all, a lot about them. The detailed knowledge of them. Oh, is that so? But, you're in luck. Today, there's a specialist in magic who returned to our village. Which, are you listening? You're listening, aren't you? I'd like you to lend your power to these people. The succubus claps her hands and... Right there, a really... Magician-looking woman appears. <laughs> yes, I overheard. Runes. I've never seen them except in the ancient books. To think there was that I was, that someone would appear who could actually use them the, in these days. Laura take which takes Laura's hand and gazes at it. Uh, intensely. Intently. A living rune user. This is my first time seeing one. Though, of course, I've never seen a dead rune user either. These are runes. The magic circuits aren't working. Hmm? Are they? They've been overloaded by intake of magic, magic essence. If we optimize the functions, then she releases his hand and smiles warmly. Maybe I'll be able to do something with this, but it should take a few days. It looks like we're going to be throwing ourselves into some violent battles. Our lives are going to be on the line here. If we can gain the power, more power for... If we can gain more power with which to battle, even if it takes a few days, we should wait that long. Looks like you don't have objections. So then... Let's go and optimize and re uh, optimally rewrite the magic circuits. Lorette, come with me to my room. <laughs> I think she's just trying to be a provocateur here. Oh, relax. I'm only going to work on the runes. I won't be laying a hand on your lover here. He, he's not really my lover, per se. Well, uh, how young and cute. And naive, I suppose is the word to say. Inexperienced. With that, they pass a few days in the succubus village. In order to defeat the Lord of Dreams, they need to acquire the power they can. Alright, the flame equations have been optimized with your runes. But still, your runes are pretty high level. If you activate them, well, properly, you should be able to release some amazing power. Furthermore, if you 
dispose it properly, it won't have any effects on your body, it looks. Such high-level equations. Just where did you learn them? They we're still trying to avoid mentioning that we came from another world. If we talk about it, even this kind person here could get caught up in the troubles worth we have to face. Runes are a secret technique. They were sealed up by, they were forbidden by the goddess Elias. Thanks to their disposition, they're connected with worship of the of the spirits and of the earth. Uh, shamanism and druidism, we might call the two of them. So it really is a rare treat to be able to work with runes nowadays. Now, I th actually, I thought that it was something, it was a completely lost technique that would only ever be seen in books again. So the magic, the flame equations, have been stabilized for power output. Next will be ice, but it seems like it'll take a little, a bit of time. So, while I'm working, why don't you rest a bit? Since you've got the time, why don't you take a look around the village? Ah, uh, so, I wonder what Drijeo and Magats are doing as a rest, during my rest. I think I'll go check on them. Simple as that. Uh oh, I recognize those two uh, on the right, but this white-haired one I don't think I've seen before. It looks like they all start the same event, though. So, Rijeo has been surrounded. What's going on here? <laughs> roll rat, please help. Yeah, Laura comes over to look and. Laura, you're doing your best in your quarter of this. I do want to get so I'm not holding you back in fights. So, that being the case, I thought that it, I should be learning some new techniques, and I can and I consulted with the villagers, but. Saki here. So she's saying you're a natural idol. I want to teach you how to dance and have you make a debut as a dancer. This girl is well suited for the path of the shinobi. I'd like to train her. I can't think of anything other than a kunoichi that she could be. Oh great, magical modding chan. You could become a good magical girl. Come on. Sign a contract with me and become one. And that's how it is. These three are all trying to recruit me. Laura. What do you think I should do? Whose instructions should Rijeo accept here? Hmm, how should we do it? This first one's Saki. In connection with dancing. Akunoichi Succubus. She doesn't have a proper name, does she? 
Maybe we'll see more of her later in the scenario. And Magical Mountain Chan with the Magical Girl thing. Well, I hate Magical Mountain Chan almost as much as I hate Sagi, so you're the default. If we get taught by Kunoichi Suc Succubus, then she's going to learn some, you know, ninja skills. Is this good? Yeah, sure. Alright, if you say so, Laura. Alright, let's start your training immediately. In your case, I think you can become a Kunoichi in a few days. Sounds good. So she goes off to do her training. Well, if her ability training has started, let's go find Magatsu. That's right, I don't know where they are, technically. If you speak to Succubus, Village Chief Succubus, before you leave her house, she'll tell you that Rijeo is wandering around town and Magatsu is hanging out in the bar. So how's it going? Oh, too good to talk to me across the bar, are you? You and Rijeo are breaking your bones to, to improve yourselves, but I'm just sitting around drinking. So I was thinking. My techniques are just coming from sourced from my own powers. Working against the earth, I just blast effects out. That kind of techniques see our our kid can be used without any problems in this world. But you guys are really un you're unfortunate in this regard. Byakunin, my apprentice is somewhere. I wonder what he's, what he's doing. Magatsu's apprentice, is, we think, has also come to this world. She doesn't say it much, but it seems like she's pretty worried about him. Well, I can't just keep laying about Muji off of the village chief's generosity. Even if it's just tending the potatoes, I suppose I should help out. So she stops drinking and leaves her seat. Yeah, plant us some potatoes. Well, potatoes or something. It looks like my companions are getting along well. Let's return to Witch's um, research room. All right, then let's continue. Going f from this point on, we're go you're going to need to expend quite a bit of magic energy. And three days pass. It actually goes faster than expected and the runes optimization is complete. With this, you being become able to use the runes. But still, you won't be able to use it, so it's real power just why just yet. Basically, using the runes as a intermediary intermediary, you can use the basics of white magic and of black magic. Look at that. Mage and priest jobs.
The mage and priest levels are already completed. To think. You, actually, you've got some amazing talent, don't you? Now, all those circumstances being what they are, under his master, he did properly learn magic, such as it were. The details are different, but the common points are also, there are also many common points. But it might be an insufficient, just that amount of power. There's another way for you to gain even more. Gain an even stronger power here. If you form a, a contract with the four spirits, then their power will be will reside in the runes. Actually, even one of the four spirits would be good. And then the power of the runes will increase. And if you do that, using the runes, you'll be able to use even higher level powers. That would be truly encouraging. After all, we do have to fight a strong enemy called the Lord of Dreams. The closest one to here would be at the Grand Volcano Cave. Salamander, it is. Although I say it's close. It's at a... It's down the continent quite a distance. Well, you guys should probably be able to make it there. Lorat nods strongly. If it's to gain stronger powers, there's nothing to do but go there. I heard about it, Laura. Of course, I'll come along with you. I think Rijeo should be coming soon as well. Sorry, I got held up. Mm. So, we're all here. Sometimes Rijeo... No, oh, particularly Rijeo. How were the results of your training? Not bad. In these few days, I've learned what I needed to learn. She has finished her Kunoichi training. We got a skill. Ninpo Yamabiko no Jutsu. Well, Yamabiko is a type of monster. We haven't seen one in this game. I think it's a type of monster, at least. So, a uh, Yamabiko technique and alluring ninja ability. We'll take a look at that in a minute. She didn't actually gain a job, though, did you? At least they didn't say she did. Still, she's saying, but I'm a nightmare after all. Pain and injury, I can't use those types of techniques. You know that, right? Yes, you're a specialist in pleasure. It really is interesting how you're able to reject both the use of violence and the acceptance of violence. Reception of violence. Laura, you two, you've been able to use the basics of magic now. We're counting on you. It's good to see the, or new, the new techniques you two have.
But Lorette's mage. Hmm. Okay, let me parse this again. Oh yeah. But Laura was able to get through the through the uh, condition of a mage. Ah, oh, that's what she's getting at. Before we depart on our journey, it should we should go and change jobs to a higher class jobs. This village's sister should be able to do job changes for us. Mm, the sister, where was she again? I think next to the river she was doing some open air church ceremonies. Now furthermore, are we good with equipment and items? If there's any insecurity, we should uh, arrange those things at the village shop. Before we go to this volcano cave, we've got to be prepared properly. So then, let's go. It's all right. Reach out. Yep. succubus. So here we can job change. Claire. 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 The yeah, outreach jail really didn't learn any jobs at all. Oh whatever. Okay, equipment items, whatever. Whoops. I did it again. So, Nagatsu was telling us about how to get to the volcano. Aw, oh, come on, little rat. But the other two got job level ups, so pretty soon. Well, immediately we get a quarter. Quarter encounters is pretty good. Might get through to the end without any hassle. Boy, in here it's even hotter than I anticipated. I'm glad I came when light clothes. Because I'm a nightmare, the heat doesn't have any physical effects on me, but the oppressive hotness of it is conveyed to me plenty. Lorat, in those heavy clothes, are you alright? We've been this kind to this kind of place in the dream world, but in the real world. Oh yeah, I guess in their setting there really is a separate world for reality and for dreams. It's kind of rough, but I don't want to spit out feeble complaints. We're here to get power by meeting with Salamander in the depths. Well, I hope he's in the sa she's in the same place I'm used to seeing her. Ah, quarter encounters wasn't good enough. Oh, balls. Good job, Rigel. Considering Magatsu has both player, which sometimes causes you to waste your moves, and Berserk, which makes you use really effective moves, 
I think she's going to be the one carrying us. And she's got like twice the HP as the other two. Alright, no more encounters. And Salamander just in the same place. Or was she standing one tile back from there? Ah, never mind. It may be different, but it's not important. Okay. At the moment, my physical body is in another place, so... Sorry, but you'll have to forgive me for interacting with you uh, with my spiritual body. I'm Salamander, the spirit in charge of flame. Travelers, what can I do for you? Laura had explains the situation. It doesn't say he's not mentioning other worlds, but I presume he doesn't. Yeah, Salamander's in Luca's party, so if he explained everything, she'd have caught on right away. But she's just saying, What's that? Runes? This is surprising. That's... That's nostalgic. The last time I saw a rune user... I think it was a little after the Great Holy Wars. Because the runes have been forbidden since the Holy Wars. To think there was still someone kicking around that actually used them. In this world, it's been more than a thousand years since the runes stopped being, stopped being in use. It's connected to worship of the spirits. They say it, that's why it was forbidden. Hmm, I see. So you want to put my power in the runes. All right then. You want it? Then show me your power. Come at me with everything you've got. If you can't manage to beat me, I'm not going to lend you my power. This kind of trial seems like something you see you'll see something like this in any world you go to so let's show you our power and here she right away she says any world you go to but salamander doesn't catch it or maybe she didn't say it directly to salamander huh. anyway <laughs> so barbaric and it's so hot in here. To me, I am in need of much stronger power. And for that purpose, I'm showing you my commitment. Mm, commitment. I see. All right, that's enough. I accept the power that you guys have. Huh, so it's finally over? I'm tired. Please let me rest a little bit. As expected of the one who commands the flames. The battle was truly a matter of fire. So, let me carve my power into the rune. It's been a thousand and some odd hundred years now. Wonder if I can still do it right. After coming this far, please don't tell me you're going to fail. Lorat places... no. Salamander places her palms on Lorat's hand. This feeling is nostalgic. Runes. 
My flames carve them in. Mm hmm. It went well. With this, the power of the spirits is imbibed into the runes. How is it, Laura? Do you feel like you've gotten stronger? In the runes, he feels that a burning power has taken up residence. He should be able to use more powerful magic with this. So then, I must excuse myself. On my physical body side, there is a lot going on, so... That's right, you said this was your spiritual body. That's a pretty dexterous ability you're using. You say you're getting busy over there. What's happened? There's an incident going down in Finoa, and they're coordinating... Mm, well... It's our business over there. To, it's our business to handle. So then... I'm in a hurry. In your travels, let you have victory. Well, with this, our task is complete. Let's hurry up and get out of this miserably hot place. Oh, you're going so soon. I've just come, after I've come all this way just to meet you. So, suddenly appearing there, there's a woman. Furthermore, it's a nightmare that we know well. Oh, this girl. Fulubura Shina Restani. She just straight up gives you her name. <clears throat> Saying This beautiful name should be burned into your memory. You're no way, Fulubura. Why are you in this world? No, I, one of the allies. So, Fulbura has also been called forth by the Lord of Dreams. Lorat, you once came to see me in the yeah, now oh, the word escapes me. Secret worship ceremonies, kind of thing. Anyway, so this time I have come to meet you. The grace I've bestowed here, you may think of it as an honor. Lorette, you went to meet Fulbure. No, don't have any memory of that. This nightmare also came from the same world as you two. Uh, furthermore, she seems pretty strong. And furthermore, beautiful. I was going to say overly self overly self-conscious, but demo, but this is unusual. I should be, I'm fairly familiar with who you are, but as stuck up as you are to be working underneath the Lord of Dreams, 
the meaning of alliance. You don't seem to understand. Amongst the alliance with the Lord of Dreams, there are no superior and inferior connections. It's not a superior and inferior connection. And anyway, I don't have much interest in the Land of Dreams at all. When people lose their will, they lose their heart to appreciate beauty with. And I don't desire any world that looks like that. A world that loses, where beauty loses the meaning of beauty. Yeah, she's pretty stuck up, ain't she? In any case, S. Morun. I didn't know that she truly desired a world like that. So what does that mean? And is this Est the name of the Lord of Dreams? If you're not the dog of this Est, then what do you want to do? I want to bring true beauty to this world. Working underneath somebody is contrary to my beauty consciousness. Stuck up is all fuck up. <clears throat> so, presently, in the land to the west, the demon castle will appear. My residence, the demon castle, to Romanza. The demon castle to Romanza, in the lands of the west, how do you... I believe they called it Grand Noah Castle. That castle itself is the summoning's basis. I say basis. Um, in this particular cult thing, it's the physical shell in which the summon thing is going to be summoned into. So, basis is what I'll call it for now. Already the Shrine Maiden is in our hands. She possesses the power to open the gate. This otherworldly Shrine Maiden. Otherworldly Shrine Maiden. With her power, you're going to bring even more chaos into here, into this place. Looks like it'll, that's how it's going to happen. Using the power of the Shrine Maiden, broadening the gate to other world. And then the demon castle itself will be summoned into this world. Along with all of the nightmares that reside inside of it. That can't be good. No way, if you do that. The demon castle to Ramuna to Romanza is in the dream world. In other words, it's it dream territory. If that castle comes, then this whole world all at once. If the whole castle is summoned into this world all at once. That's right. In this world, the land of dreams will spread all in one spurt. 
the dream of pleasure will fill the land and its people and its people will turn their hearts to an eternal pleasure well in any case i still have no interest in this land of the night but my residence a residence proper for me that's certainly necessary we won't let you get away with this. In that case, hurry to Grand Noah. The Shrine Ring is already in the hands of Musette, or whatever her name was. Even now, the ritual of summoning the Demon Castle is underway. Musette. That's also one of the allies, presumably. The situation is already getting pretty tense. Lorat, how you I'm looking forward to seeing how you're going to act here. At the very least, You do understand what beauty is. So, you must want it. The embodiment of beauty. I, full of you, are Sina Rastani. I'll be waiting for you. <laughs> huh saying what she has to say and leaving. Yeah, well, did you want her to say more? I sure as hell didn't. She... Why did she come here? Are the people from your world all like that? There are a lot of people that are weird, I think, but... She's really special, I think. setting aside the showmanship with which she conducts herself. What she said about the reality is shocking. If it's that demon castle true romance, if it's getting summoned, then Everything's going to go to crap real quick. Still, the tension of the situation has risen faster than I expected. It seems we don't have the slack to leisurely gather the rest of the heroes. Yep, we've got to hurry over and get ourselves into this Grand Noir or whatever. We've got to put a stop to this summoning of two Romanza. The ritual of summoning is already underway. That's what she said. We can't overlook this crisis in this world. Even if it's one second faster, we've got to hurry to get to Grand Noir. Oh, is that it? Yeah, that's it. Alright, thanks for watching. And I will see you next time when we go into Chapter 6. Oh, I remember this. Well, until next time. Bye now.